chop bun slice you cut and dice you eat you uphold Across Tamriel, vampires are considered both to be a plague and a force to be feared. But they still did not exist unopposed. The Dawn Guard stood alone in defiance against the vampires of Skyrim. However, the Dawn Guard were only mortals. To end this plague once and for all, something more than human was needed. The Daywalker began as an eager recruit of the Dawn Guard. However, during his crusade against his enemies, he was seduced by the prospects of power and briefly gave it to temptation. He not only became what he hated most, but a paragon of them, a vampire lord. Appalled by his weakness, the Daywalker swore off blood and dedicated his new life to the destruction of his kin and any other monster that crossed his path. Though the Daywalker's powers can be achieved by any of the races of Tamriel, the Breton's unique gifts offer the most variety in fighting style. The most essential skills for this build are Restoration, Alchemy, Enchanting, Two-Handed, Light Armor, and Alteration. First, your Restoration skill needs to be at 70, so that the Necromage perk can be taken. This perk is essential for this build. When taken after becoming a vampire, the Necromage perk improves the effectiveness and duration of a number of active effects. This includes enchanted equipment, potions, several standing stones, and even a few perks. Under the alchemy tree, all five ranks of alchemy should be taken, plus physician, benefactor, poisoner, and concentrated poison to maximize the effectiveness of all your potions and poisons. Additionally, the green thumb perk will help you to further boost your ingredient stockpile. Similarly as with the alchemy perks, all of the perks that benefit your personal enchantments should be taken. That includes all five ranks of enchanter, insightful enchanter, corpus enchanter, extra effect, and fire enchanter, the sword. Perks for the two-handed and light armor trees should be taken as those skills progress. Lastly, your alteration skill needs to be maxed out as well. The Atronach perk is the only perk from this tree that's relevant to this build, but it is also one of the most important. Though his vampire blood made him weak to fire-based attacks, his abilities as a Breton, in combination with his powers as a necromage vampire with the Atronach perk, allowed him to use his dragon skin to fully absorb the magic from all spells, even dragon fire. By utilizing a combination of powerful potions, enchantments, and skills, the Daywalker can use even the dullest of swords to kill the most deadly monsters of Skyrim. Because of his raw power, the Daywalker chose to use weaker, more traditional weapons to repel monsters, namely his Silver Greatsword. His sword was given a simple fire enchantment, which he further enhanced with the poison of weakness to fire. On the other hand, his armor and accessories were enchanted to strengthen the sword arm create stronger potions, and resist the effects of the sun. His alchemical concoctions allowed him to further increase his powers and even fully nullify the effects of sunlight. Even without his dragon skin ability, Daywalker was capable of greatly reducing his weakness to fire by taking potions of magic resistance in tandem with potions of fire resistance. When it comes to offense, by taking the potions of Fortified Marksman and Fortified Two-Handed, he was able to even defeat dragons in a small number of strikes. Finally, the Daywalker's dragon blood allows him to use shouts to further increase his combat prowess. Though the fire breath shout wasn't as powerful for him as it was for dragons, when strengthened by the augmented flames perk and after meditating with Parthenax on the word Yol, the shout was strong enough to stagger a wide array of enemies. The unrelenting force shout used by him to knock down and stun enemies, opening them up for a killing blow. However, the mark for death shout was incredibly powerful for the Daywalker, as it slowly reduced both the target's health and armor, making them far more vulnerable to his attacks. When combined with all of the Daywalker's strengths when using this shout, he was able to kill even the most powerful of dragons in just one or two blows. The Daywalker truly was the strongest swordsman in all of Skyrim. Thank you for watching. If you like this content and want more of it, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel.